for Sedonic Management of the Developing Dentition, an evidence-based guide. Hi, my name is Alex and you're watching the second episode of Orthodontic Book Review. And today I decided to look closely at this lovely little book published by Springer Publishing in 2017. The editor of this book is Martin Coburn, who is also an editor-in-chief of the Journal of Orthodontics, which is the official journal of the British Orthodontic Society. The book is a collection of 11 articles, most of which were written by the specialists from the United Kingdom. Here you'll find articles on developing and dentition, spacing and crowding, issues with first permit permanent molars, tuphogenesis, supernumerary teeth, early class 2 and class 3 correction, management of posterior crossbites, and so on. Basically, this book covers all the main issues of the developing dentition stage and provides us the, the clear implications for clinical practice. The book has a big number of high quality illustrations in it. So let's take a closer look at one of the articles named Early Management of the Peltal Displaced Maxillar Permanent Canine also known as a PDS. The article is written by Philip Benson and Nicola Parking. In the abstract, the authors write that the article is going to provide guidelines as to help the practitioner to decide when interceptive treatment would be appropriate. The authors start the article with a description of normal development and the statistics for the problem. Then they describe clinical and radiographic features of a PDS. After that, they provide us with the overview of current literature, starting with the classical study by Ericsson and Curl, who actually were the first to justify the extraction of primary canine as an interceptive technique. Then the authors go through a bunch of other studies, including those that assess the effects of rapid maxillary expansion and headgear. The authors underline the limitation of each study and provide us with a summary of the current literature, put it into seven bullet points and one very useful scheme. They actually took the original scheme by Ericsson and Curl, which was designed to predict the success rate of the extraction, relying on the position of a PDS and added a color gradation to it. Now it looks very intuitive and I would definitely use it in the future while explaining the potential of extraction procedure to my patients. All the other articles are structured pretty much the same way. A brief literature overview, then a description of current treatment techniques accompanied with illustrations and then clear guidelines as for clinical practice. I really love this book, primarily because of its cohesive structure and concise format. I wish more books like this would be published in the future. I think it's really great that the book is dedicated to some very particular area of knowledge and provides us with clear guidelines in it. During the recent four years I've been providing orthodontic care primarily to children and teenagers and if now someone will ask me what I learned about the developing dentition, I would definitely refer him to this book. Because you can go through it literally in two or three hours and after that you'll be familiar with all the contemporary protocols for the main problems of the developing dentition. I really hope that it was useful information for you. Have a great day and I'm looking forward to see you next week. Bye!